Welcome to EPG Patshala. In today's module, we are going to discuss about the energy use pattern in the world and in India. World's energy consumption is the total energy used by all the current civilization involving all energy harness from every energy source in each and every industrial and technological sector across every country. The population is one of the key drivers of energy use. It has taken thousands of years for the global population to reach 1 billion. But then later on, it took just about 200 years to grow sevenfold and reaching the current population of more than 7.4 billion. The increasing lifestyles of the people, creation of infrastructure facilities, transportation, technological gadgets and other appliances involve the consumption of energy very high. With this industrialization came rapid population growth and expansion of output accompanied or enabled by the rapid growth in different forms of energy. According to International Energy Agency data from 1990 to 2008, it shows the average energy use per person increased 10 percentage while world population increased 27 percentage. Several people have attained modern energy access over the last two decades, especially in the developing countries due to the fast-paced economic development, increasing urbanization and supporting policies. In this module, we are going to discuss about what are the major energy sources in the world, what is the relationship between the population growth and the energy use, what are the trends in the energy consumption of different fuels in different sectors, which countries are the global top energy users, what is the energy use pattern in the world and in India. We will also see the growth of renewable energy source that affecting the energy use in the recent time. The energy sources have mostly remained the fossil fuels supplying more than 60 percentage of the global energy. The energy use has increased over the years which is clear from this figure. According to data from the global statistical yearbook, the total energy consumption in 2015 was 13,778 metric ton oil equivalent, reporting an annual increase of 2.1 percent in energy use since 2000. It is predicted to increase in future years as global economy expands and level of activity and lifestyles improve. The energy use versus the population growth. Population is an indicator of energy use. Income and technological advancement of the country also contribute hugely to energy consumption. For example, the entire population of USA accounts for only 4.5% of the global but consume nearly 20% of its energy and their per capita energy consumption is 17 times that of Indian population, 4 times that of Chinese consumption. The emerging economies account for 58.1% of global energy consumption. According to Global Energy Statistical Yearbook, the top 10 energy consuming countries are China, United States, India, Russia, Japan, Germany, Brazil, South Korea, Canada, France, Iran and Indonesia. In this table, you can see the countries versus the energy consumption. Energy consumption in the world. The energy consumption is loosely correlated with gross national product and the climate. But there is a large difference even between the most highly developed countries such as Japan and Germany with an energy consumption rate of 6 kilowatt per person and the United States with an energy consumption rate of 11.4 kilowatt per person. In developing countries, particularly that of subtropical or tropical countries like India, the per person energy use rate is closer to 0.7 kilowatt only. With a per capita energy use rate of 0.2 kilowatt, Bangladesh accounts the lowest consumption rate having the lowest consumption rate. There are differences in the sources of fuel used among the various countries. At the individual country level, Denmark leads with 66 percentage of power coming from renewable followed by Portugal with 30 percent. The energy used in India. India is a major producer and consumer of energy. The sources of energy generation range from conventional sources like fossil fuels, hydropower and nuclear power to viable sources such as wind, solar and biomass. 
Due to rapid economic expansion, India has one of the world's fastest growing energy markets and is expected to be the second largest contributor to the increase in the global energy demand by 2035, accounting for 18 percentage of the rise in the global energy consumption. The energy intensity is an indicator to show how efficiently energy is used in the economy. The energy intensity of India is over twice than that of the matured economies which are represented as OECD that is Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development Member Countries, OECD member countries. However, since 1999, India's energy intensity has been decreasing and is expected to continue to decrease. The energy production and availability in India. The production of raw coal and lignite as well as renewable and nuclear energy has increased over the years. While there was slight decrease in the production of natural gas and crude oil in 2015. The primary energy production grew by 3.2% in 2015. Renewables in the power rise has risen by 13.7%. India is now the sixth largest renewable power generator in the world. For, during 2014-15, the coal and lignite were the major sources of energy, accounting for about 75% of the total production. The next major source was crude petroleum, accounting 11.13%, followed by the natural gas of 8.96%. The total electricity generation in the country from the utilities and non-utilities taken together during this period was 12,78,907 gigawatt hour. The thermal power plants accounted for 71% of the installed capacity, followed by the hydropower having 13.04% and nuclear energy of 1.82%. The wind power accounted for about 64.62% and solar power 12.57% and biomass of 11.46% of the total installed generation capacity of the renewable energy. In this table, you can see the installed generation capacity of electricity as per 2015. Here, the thermal capacity is 188 gigawatt while hydro is 41.27 gigawatt, nuclear power is 5.7 gigawatt and the new and renewable energy a total of 35.77 gigawatt coming from solar, small hydro energy, biomass energy, waste to energy and wind energy. The present status of energy use in India. The domestic cooking and lighting, transport, agriculture and industrial sectors account for the present energy use. In the recent times, the energy usage pattern has changed and it shifted to electricity, indicating the increasing de dependency on the energy to ensure growth as well as development of a country. The non-commercial energy sources such as crop residue, firewood, waste, animal drought power meet a major portion of energy requirement in rural areas, despite the increased reliance on commercial fuel worldwide. These non-commercial or traditional energy sources are, however, being replaced by other forms of commercial energy with much higher quality and efficiency in the rural sector. But the shortcomings is that the resource expansion and growth in energy supply has not kept pace with this increasing demand. This has caused several problems in terms of energy use and continues to offer serious energy shortages in India and leading to increased reliance on imports to meet, the deficient, to meet the deficit in energy demands. In India, with more than 121 crore Indians, 83.3 crore lives in rural areas, while more than 37.7 crore stay in urban areas. The energy availability, accessibility and affordability are vital if our country is to keep its pace of development. According to 2011 census, only 55.3% of rural homes used electricity as the primary source for lighting. About 21% of Indian villages and 50% of rural households are yet not electrified. There is a wide disparity in energy use pattern between the urban and rural areas. The energy security and accessibility are also a cause of concern. Domestic production is sufficient to meet only 58% of the domestic consumption. India depends on imports of coal, crude oil and natural gas to meet their energy requirements. The poor quality of Indian coal necessitates its import. 
more than 70% of the crude oil requirement and part of petroleum product is met from imports. The higher rate of population growth as well as economic development has led to India's energy consumption increasing at one of the fastest rate globally. India has emerged as the third greatest energy consumer after China and US, accounting for about 5.3% of the global total annual primary energy consumption in 2015. About 70% of electricity is generated from fossil fuel, including coal, oil and natural gas. The total energy consumption was highest from coal with 54.5%, crude oil 29.45%, natural gas 7.7%, Hydroelectricity 5%, nuclear energy 1.26% as per 2013 data. India's per capita electricity consumption was 1,075 kilowatt hour in 2015-16, increasing at an average of 6% every year. But after that, this is one third of the world average and is just 10 percentage of that of Australia, 7.5 percentage of USA, 6.6 .6 percentage of Canada. If you see the per capita energy consumption in India, there is a disparity in the per capita energy consumption pattern between different states and between the rural and urban areas. While 75% of rural households depend on firewood for cooking, 10% on dunk cake and kerosene and 10% on LPG. Among the urban households, 22% depend on firewood, 10% on kerosene and 57% on LPG. In home lighting, 92% of urban households depend on electricity and 7% on kerosene whereas rural households 44% depends on kerosene and rest 55% on electricity. It is also seen that almost 80% of the rural energy used is derived from biomass. Among the states, the highest per capita consumption is in the Union territories. In the rest, Pondicherry, Goa, Punjab, Gujarat, Haryana and Delhi use more than the national average and the Bihar has the lowest per capita consumption. Let's see the trends in the energy consumption, especially the global energy use as per the fuel. The sources of energy changed with time as given in this figure. The transition from rural biomass towards fossil fuels has accompanied and allowed development and industrialization. Starting initially with the biomass, the source of energy also included coal during the 19th century, then oil, particularly for the transportation, and natural gas during the last century. So there is a shift from biomass to oil to natural gas. In this figure, you can see the per capita consumption of fuels. The coal is dominant fuel in the Asia Pacific region, accounting for 51% of the regional energy consumption, the highest share of any fuel for any region. The coal consumption has increased hugely in China and in other developing nations since 2000. This increase in coal consumption seems to be related to the increase in manufacturing in Asia. But its consumption is predicted to barely grow in the next 25 years, as demand in China starts to fall back thanks to efforts to fight air pollution and diversify the fuel mix. The oil has remained the world's leading fuel in 2015, accounting for 32.9% of the global energy consumption. Asia Pacific region followed by United States are the greatest consumers of oil the World Energy Organization in 2016 had postulated that lack of easy alternatives to oil in road freight, aviation and petrochemicals will force the global oil demand to grow until 2040. In contrast, oil demand from passenger cars is expected to decline even as the number of vehicles double in the next quarter century, mainly because of improvements in efficiency but also because of introduction of biofuels and rising ownership of electric cars. The per capita consumption of oil has been on a declining trend from 1970 to 1980s when it was at its peak. The fuel that has primarily risen to take its place is natural gas and to a lesser extent nuclear power. The natural gas is also expected to become a dominant energy source in the future owing to its better availability and more supportive environmental policies. It is the major energy source for the Europe and North America. This natural gas accounts 23.8% of the primary energy consumption in the world. China has become the fourth largest nuclear power supplier, surpassing this South Korea. The nuclear power accounted 4.4% of the global primary energy consumption. 
renewables are expected to grow in future as their costs continue to reduce and more stresses are on the environmental friendly fuels. In terms of power generation, the contribution of renewable energy sources to the global energy consumption in 2015 reached 2.8%, increasing from 0.8% a decade ago. And the great contribution to power generation was from the renewable energy that has been from hydropower and been collectively accounting for more than half of the cumulative increases from 2012 to 2040. China remains by far the world's largest producer of hydroelectricity. Hydroelectric output accounted for 6.8% of the global primary energy consumption and other renewables accounted 6.7% of the global power generation. Of this, wind energy remains the largest source of renewable energy that is 52.2% of renewable generation with Germany recording the largest growth increment. The solar power generation grew with China overtaking Germany and US to become the world's top generator of solar energy. The global biofuel productions grew by 0.9% mainly in the Brazil and in the US. The renewable electricity generation excluding this hydro energy is estimated to account for 7% of the global electricity generation. What, the, what are the energy used by different sources in India? India is well endowed with its renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Around 36% of India's primary energy supply is used as input to power generation. Though the fossil fuels contribute to three-fourths of our energy consumption, the increasing energy demand, limited domestic fossil fuel reserves, as well as concerns about global warming and pollution has driven the country to more ambitious plans towards the renewable energy. This figure shows the major sources of energy demand in India. You can see in this figure the primary energy consumption by the fuel with coal 44%, oil 23%, natural gas 6%, nuclear contribution is 1% and biomass with 24% and other renewables 2%. This is the energy demand in India. Uh, the energy used by different sources in India. The coal and lignite. India is the second largest coal producer globally. The coal is the mainstay of the Indian energy sector which is responsible for 70% of generation, the energy. Around 99% of total coal deposits are mainly confined to eastern and southern central parts of India, primarily in the states of Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. The coal consumption has increased annually due to the expansion of coal-fired power generation fleet and better availability and affordability relative to other fossil fuel. Electricity generation is the largest consumer of the lignite and coal accounting for 84% and 64% of the total consumption. Coal is also used in the steel and other industries. The coal available in India can be used to produce synthetic natural gas and such production techniques have great scope to meet the transport sector requirements for, for the fuel. Petroleum and natural gas. India is the third biggest consumer of oil after USA and China. The maximum reserves of the crude oil are found in the western offshore. It's around 42.91% and in Assam, it's around 22.69%, while natural gas is in the eastern offshore, that is about 37.24%, and western offshore having 30%. Their consumption is also increasing steadily, with transport accounting for 65% of the price. Among the petroleum products, diesel was the most used, followed by the petrol. The natural gas is consumed mainly in the fertilizer industry, 30%, followed by the electricity generation of around 21% and 6% in petrochemical industries and also as liquefied natural gas in the vehicles and for other consumption. The nuclear power in India, India has around 22 operating nuclear reactors at 7 sites with a total installed capacity of more than 6 gigawatt. Renewable energy, wind, small, hydel. Wind, small hydel, biomass and solar energy offer significant potential in India for the generation of power. In India, renewable energy comes under the purview of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. The highest installed capacity of grid connected renewable power are seen in Tamil Nadu followed by Maharashtra and Gujarat mainly account, accounting from the wind power. India has 45 gigawatt of hydropower and 23 gigawatt of wind power capacity but has barely tapped its huge potential for renewable energy. India is the world's fifth largest producer of wind power after the Denmark, Germany, Spain and USA. 
The total wind power capacity added to country in 2015-16 has come up to 3,300 MW. And solar energy with 3.7 gigawatt installed capacity, this is in 2014 mainly in the Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. And this sector has played important role in the energy production. Greater emphasis is being given through Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission with the target of 100 gigawatt of solar installation by 2022. It's mainly the rooftop solar photovoltaics and the large and medium scale grid connected photovoltaic projects. The hydro based power generation up to 25 megawatt capacities is classified as small hydropower. Such projects may be used to reach electricity to the remote villages. The installed capacity of small hydro projects up to 3 megawatt is around 4,304 megawatt till July 2016. Now, biomass is an important energy source, especially in the rural areas. At present, availability of it is 500 million megawatt per year in India. The agriculture and forestry residue will further contribute about 120 to 150 million metric ton per annum. The biomass and charcoal are used in two-thirds of Indian households for the cooking, but the use is declined over the years due to introduction of electricity and LPG. It is also used in commercial cooking, electricity generation and in the industries. You can see in this figure the various consumers of energy. The major one is power followed by industry, then the transportation and other sectors. Globally, the energy consumed in the building sector divided between the residential, that is for heating, cooling, lighting and water heating and for many other appliances and equipment. And in commercial sector like businesses, institutions and organizations. These are the end users, it accounts for one fifth of the total delivered the energy consumed. Asia, including China and India, account for the fastest growing sources of residential consumer demand as a result of strong economic growth and expanding population. The industrial users, that is agriculture, mining, manufacturing and construction, they consume about 54 percentage of total energy. The personal and commercial transportation sector consume 25 percentage of the total world delivered energy consumption. In addition, increasing demand for the personal travel, urbanization and income is a primary contributing factor to increase in the energy demand for the transportation. The energy use by various sectors in India. Industry is currently the largest energy consuming sector followed by the building sector including residential and services. The industrial energy demand in, is mainly met by coal, followed by oil, electricity and biomass. The industry sector also is liable for 44 percentage of total electricity consumption, followed by the residential and agriculture. The residential buildings, particularly in the urban spaces, demand almost 75 percent of the increased energy demand and this increment the demand for electricity and oil rather than from the biomass. Energy consumption by fuel in different sectors in India. The Indian transport sector is the principal consumer of petrol and diesel followed by the big and small industrial units. The energy use in India's transport sector accounts 14 percentage of the total energy consumption. The road transport consumes over 90 percentage of the energy under the transport sector. India has seen increase in light vehicle stock by around 19 percent. The agriculture sector is also an important energy user which is responsible for 15 percentage and 18 percentage of energy consumption from diesel and from electricity. So to conclude, the energy sector depends mainly on fossil fuel to meet its demand, whether it is in globally or in India. But over the last decades, there is a shift towards the non-conventional energy sources is noticed in the consumption pattern of the world and India. So the concerns about energy security, negative effects of fossil fuels on the biosphere, the government policies and incentives promote the use of renewable energy sources, support the use of non-fossil energy sources and the nuclear power as well as natural gas which is the least carbon intensive fossil fuel. In recent years, it is also seen that development of nuclear and other renewable forms of energy as coming up. We have seen in this module various energy sources in world and in India. We have seen the energy consumption pattern, the trends with respect to different fuel, with respect to different sectors in the world and in India. We have also seen the growth of renewable energy sources over the period. Thank you.